Hello, <clears throat> this is John Crisp again. One of the things I wanted to demonstrate as well, because I get asked a lot, how do you set up for photography with your telescope? And one of the reasons why I use the Celestron uh, Edge series is that you can actually use a special adapter for your camera on the front of the telescope in what they call the secondary mirror position if you have the Starzona Hyperstar accessory that I'm holding in my hand here. And what this allows you to do is replace the mirror where light comes in, bounces off the main mirror in the back, comes back up to the front, bounces back into the rear of the telescope for visual viewing. You can replace this mirror and actually put the Hyperstar assembly in its place. That allows you to collect a lot more light and a wider field of view with your telescope and with proper accessories, and Starzona makes multiple ones, this particular accessory works with my Attic 4 Series cameras. And I'll demonstrate how easy it is to put the camera on the front of the telescope. Basically, you remove the secondary mirror. It's just that simple. Unscrew. What's nice about Hyperstar is there's a removable back that stores your secondary mirror. So unscrew this. Then you can actually attach this assembly. down on that at all. I'll put the Attic 4 series adapter. And then the Attic 4 series comes with a standard one and a quarter inch adapter for using it as an eyepiece. But if you take that off, you can actually thread it on to the front. Now I have my Hyperstar assembly with my Attic 4 series camera in the front of the telescope ready to do wide field imaging. Basically it works the same way if I'm using a different camera in this place. I have an adapter that comes for the Sony QX1 that I'm actually videotaping this with or um, a standard mount for the Nikon series F lenses which is what my Nikon D810 uses. And this telescope is large enough where I can actually put my full DSLR body in the front of the telescope and not block the light to a point where you get a penalty of any significance to get imaging. But since I have the Attic Series camera, it makes it a lot easier. And one of the other things, you know, as you can see, the camera is upside down. Um, what's nice about the Hyperstar Series is if you adjust the nylon stop screws here, you can actually very easily rotate the camera once you're actually locked in on the object you're going to image and once you have it nice and adjusted how you want it framed up you simply lock it down you're ready to image